This video is brought to you by Aura. The wait for NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 4070 is almost over, and I've got all the juicy details you need to know. In this video I will tell you the exact dates on which you can watch the RTX 4070 reviews and buy it in a shop, as well as give you the lowdown on its price, specs and performance. The best part? All the information has already leaked, so we know exactly what to expect from the RTX 4070. But first I must warn you that I have one piece of bad news that might make you hate the RTX 4070, so don't get your hopes up too high. Before we jump into this topic, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Aura. Your information is accessible to scammers, robocallers and telemarketers because of data brokers. These companies will sell your information for a profit. Aura is here to help. Aura identifies data brokers that are exposing your information and automatically submits opt-out requests on your behalf. They will even opt you out of junk mail and telemarketing lists. Aura also monitors your email addresses and passwords to see if they've been involved in a data breach and exposed on the dark web. They also give you recommendations on what to do next. Not only this, but Aura's app also features a VPN, password manager, real-time credit and identity theft monitoring, internet parental controls and malware protection. Basically, it's almost every internet safety tool you'll ever need, all inside one app. And it is a lot cheaper than getting these tools individually. Let Aura do the hard work for you and keep you safe online. If you sign up now, Aura will give you a two-week free trial with my link, aura.com slash ivadim. You can find it in the description below this video. Now back to our topic. Let's start with the specifications update. RTX 4070 has 5,888 CUDA cores, featuring a 2,475 MHz core clock boost. 46 ray tracing cores and 12 GB of 21 Gigabit per second GDDR6X memory across a 192 bit bus for a total of 504 GB per second bandwidth. TDP will be around 200 watts. This is a very nice improvement compared to its predecessor RTX 3070. By the way, RTX 3070 GPU chips were manufactured on Samsung 8 nanometer process, while 4070 uses the cutting-edge TSMC 4 nanometer process, which offers industry-leading power efficiency and performance advantage. This is a massive leap from a technology point of view. Also, 12 GB of memory is a nice upgrade going into the future, as 8 GB cards, such as RTX 3070, will be pushed out of 1440p gaming segment and become the norm for 1080p resolution in the coming years. Next, let's talk about the performance. Now that I know all the specifications down to the core clock speed, I can run my calculations to deliver a more accurate performance estimation for the RTX 4070. Let's start with the performance at 4K resolution. On average, RTX 4070 should deliver between RTX 3080 and 3080 Ti level of performance. That is about 76 FPS in a 16 game average. Next, I would like to show you how that would look like in some of the games you are likely familiar with. Expect close to 45 FPS average in Cyberpunk on high graphics preset at 4K. This result represents what I expect the upcoming AAA games will perform like on a 4070 in the next couple of years. So I think that RTX 4070 is not quite cut out to be a 4K gaming GPU if this is the type of games you plan on using it for, and do not wish to use DLSS to boost that FPS. By the way, it is a viable option as DLSS is pretty much in every game now. Next up is Shadow of the Tomb Raider on the highest quality preset, representing older AAA games which still look very nice. Expect to see close to 80 FPS in this title. If you enjoy the latest competitive shooters, then you will be pleased to hear that Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 should be able to run at about 112 FPS average at 4K using basic quality settings. Not quite enough for 120 plus FPS experience, but not too bad either. If you are enjoying this video, then a like and sub to the channel would be lovely. Now let's have a look at what RTX 4070 is expected to be able to do at 1440p resolution. 
It is much more impressive than at 4K, as I estimate that RTX 4070 will deliver performance level close to RTX 3090 or better at 1440p. RTX 4070 Ti has proven that Nvidia fixed its performance scaling at this resolution in the new ADA generation of graphics cards. That is why I expect to see about 96 FPS average in Cyberpunk on high graphics preset. This means that RTX 4070 should be able to run the upcoming AAA games at 60 plus FPS at 1440p resolution in most cases. If I was planning on gaming at this resolution, then I would wishlist RTX 4070 to do that job. Additionally, it should be great at running older games such as Shadow of the Tomb Raider at close to 150 FPS average. That is high refresh rate monitor territory right there. And I expect to see close to 185 FPS average in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 on basic quality at 1440p. Very nice. Now let's talk about the release date. Nvidia has informed its partners that the RTX 4070 will be available on shelves starting April 13th. You will be able to buy it from your local brick and mortar or online shop on that day. The reviews for the RTX 4070 will be split into two days. On April 12th, one day before the launch, reviewers will be allowed to publish content featuring RTX 4070 cards that are priced strictly at MSRP, that means no expensive stuff. And one day later, all other reviews are allowed to go live. This unusual review embargo brings up the question, why split the dates? The answer lies in the price of the RTX 4070. Currently, Nvidia plans to set the recommended price at $749.99 US dollars, which is just $50 less than the 4070 Ti MSRP. Nvidia simply does not want us to focus on the more expensive RTX 4070 models like Asus Strix and the Maasai Supreme, which will have to be priced at the same level or higher than entry-level 4070 Ti cards. The company wants everyone to focus on the cheaper models on the first day and try to sweep the pricing problem under the rug. Nvidia has communicated this price to its partners, but that doesn't mean it's final. In my opinion, $750 is too greedy and tone-deaf even for Nvidia. It's not uncommon for them to change the price later on, even after the product has been officially announced. Remember how Nvidia changed the RTX 4080 12GB name to 4070 Ti and dropped its price by $100? There is a chance that the RTX 4070 will be priced at $699 or even as low as $650, but I doubt that Nvidia will go lower than that. Honestly, I think it will be $699. That way, in Nvidia's mind, the RTX 4070 can be somewhat palatable to potential buyers, just like the RTX 4080 and 4070 Ti are right now. These cards are not flying off of the shelves, but are still selling somewhat okay. However, I still believe it is a terrible price, and I won't be recommending RTX 4070 until it becomes more reasonably priced. If I were spending around $700 on a graphics card right now, I'd get myself a Radeon RX 6950 XT instead. It offers more memory and better performance in most games. More memory is already essential for some games, and 12GB on RTX 4070 can become an even bigger limitation in the future. However, I must clarify that the 6950 XT is a good choice only for someone who doesn't care about ray tracing. Nvidia still excels in that area. RX 7900 XT could also be a good recommendation if it wasn't so expensive. AMD has a real opportunity to grab some market share from Nvidia right now. All they have to do is lower the price of their RX 7000 series graphics cards. We know that AMD can afford it because RDNA 3 is a more economical design. So please, AMD, stop following Nvidia's ridiculous pricing trend and give us a good reason to buy your graphics cards. There is no better chance than this to get your GPUs into the hands of more gamers. Your drivers and software are actually good now, so go for the market share and start winning over customers' minds. The market is itching for good competition. And you have the perfect opportunity to break the AMD has bad drivers stigma. 
To do that, more people need to have AMD graphics cards in their PCs and have an all-around good experience, including reasonable price. That concludes my message to AMD. However, I have little hope that anything will change for the better anytime soon. As for the RTX 4070, it looks like it will cost around the same as RTX 3080 at launch while offering slightly better performance and much better power efficiency. Do you think it is enough to make it a graphics card worthy of a recommendation? Let me know in the comments below. Also, tap that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more. That is the best way to thank me for the work I do here. Thank you for your support. It was I, Vadim. Until next time.